Hi, I'm Tracy Koga with something short and fun. This is a Hue soundbite. Well, I want to give a big welcome to Sammy Morelli all the way in Vancouver. And I know it's raining there, but Sammy, here in Winnipeg, we have about uh, almost uh, six inches of snow and it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, so my turn to pout. Wah, wah. Anyways, no, it's all about music and uh, wow, you know, I don't think the pandemic really has uh, put a crimp in your style and you have a baby girl. I do, yeah. So, she's almost two now, it's crazy. Oh, she's not a baby anymore. Harley, yeah, no, it's, she's growing up like really fast and it's insane. <laughs> All right, so these past couple of years then have been really interesting. So now a multitasker, a full mom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so how has it been? It's been uh, it's been a wild ride over the last two years. Like, I mean, for everyone, it's been kind of a, a crazy time. Um, you know, we're, but it's been interesting because a lot of it has been, you know, stripping away the distractions of you know, regular life and, and the business and the, you know, the work and all of that stuff and really kind of getting down to the nitty gritty of like who you are, what you want, what you want to make your life. And, and it's been, uh, it's been kind of a blessing in disguise to have that time, especially as a new mom and, and working on this new music. It's, uh, it's been, it's been very interesting. <laughs> Lots and of uh, discovery time, I guess. <laughs> And then, you know, raising a daughter through all of this too, it's crazy. How did, yeah, you, it's how, how did you schedule time between music and baby? Yeah, I mean, when you, when you really love something, you know, you make that time work with, however <laughs> you can. So, you know, in between naps and when she's down to sleep at night, that's when I get my, you know, my computer out and I'm working on songs or, you know, kind of scheduling in between my husband's work to, to get to, to the studio to get co-writes in and, and producing and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, no, it's been, uh, it's, it's been challenging for sure, <laughs> but, you know, uh, you make it work. You just kind of fit it in where you can, and um, and it's really great because my kid loves music too, right? So <laughs> it's just constantly playing stuff in our house and lots of loud singing and lots of loud everythings. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, let's talk about the music now. You're pretty engrossed in all of the steps of of making the music. Um, which steps do you like the most, and which steps do you not? <laughs> um I love I love it all um and it's so fun because like it really depends on like what kind of project I'm working on uh, how things come together and so like for a lot of uh you know the last few years I've been doing a bunch of EDM top lining and like working with different uh producers in that kind of world which has been super fun uh you know lots of variety lots of interesting kind of writing projects um, and then for my own stuff, like this stuff has kind of been percolating for years and, and, you know, coming out at different times of my, my own personal awakening and, uh, you know, at different times of my realization. So it's kind of interesting to see like how the difference of, um, projects kind of happens, but, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm I relish every part of the, the creation of, of music. I'm, I'm, I'm very passionate about that. And, uh, yeah, no, it, it's so fun how different it is, that's all. <laughs> and I guess now the landscape of music has changed. Uh, people can instantly put up a song, you know, you can do it in, in your basement, you can do it in your bedroom. Um, for you, I guess the whole process of being now in this huge music fishbowl, how do you make your sound unique? How do you make it go, ah, oh, yeah, that's a Sammy song? Yeah, well, it's that's a really great question, and it's something that I've had to ask myself for many years, you know, what kind of makes me stand out, and I think at the core of it, it really is just being true to myself and not trying to be anything uh, mm -hmm. other, you know, like just really going with my gut of what sounds the best, you know, what I want to say, um, and uh, I'm finding like the more I am aligned with my truth, the better it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> and do you think too, uh, obviously having a family now, a baby and, and someone that's going to look up to you as a role model, 
Um, how have you changed? <laughs> oh, besides physically, oh, your body has gone through so many things. So many things. Um, yeah, I, God, mother, motherhood changes everything. Uh, and even even becoming a mother of those songs, like you know, like it's so interesting um, because it does uh, it does make that responsibility grow a thousand times and. Um, it makes you think about what you want your impact to be and what you want uh, to impart on the next generation. And um, and just, yeah, to, like you said, be the most amazing role model for this young little girl coming up in the world. Um, it's made me really want to break some uh, some curses <laughs> of you know the past and, and make it a better place for her to grow up. Wow. So let's talk about this, a new single, Love Away, the story behind it and maybe uh, who's worked on the song with you too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so how Love Away came to be was, it was kind of at the beginning of this like new era of my own personal musical journey, uh, which probably started about maybe six years ago. I was uh, living in Ontario and I, you know, was kind of just wanting to get back to making my own music and, uh, you know, kind of be more hands-on and like, independent with like writing myself and, and, you know, putting together the demos and stuff. So this was actually one of the first songs that I just wrote and uh, produced a demo for like on GarageBand, you know, like just making it, making it happen. And I was like, oh, this sounds cool. And, you know, that kind of story came about you know, really to try and stand in your personal power and like say like, oh no, I'm not gonna stand for, um, you know, the BS that I see uh, happening, like this bad behavior, like, no, you can't pull the wool over my eyes. Like I am this new person and I am, you know, you can't, can't do that to me. I respect myself too much to play those games kind of thing. So <laughs> it was like kind of this interesting mesh of like, oh, this new independence and this new like standing strong kind of thing um, coming together to, to make this song. And I, I spent years workshopping it like live and not really doing too much with it. But um, when I met Nathan Chu, who uh, goes by the name Wafy, um, and we started working together, uh, co-writing other stuff. I was like, all right, maybe this is the time to really bring this up and, uh, and, and really release it this time. So, um, he took it and just like flushed it out and made this amazing, you know, lush R and B, uh, soulful, funky kind of, um, song. And that was like the first time where I heard my music really click, um, you know, find my sound, which was really exciting. Uh, yeah, so that's that's the story of Love Away. <laughs> well, it is. That's a beautiful story. And uh, I know that you promised that you would do an acoustic version for us. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. So, Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sammy. It's been a pleasure meeting you. You too. <laughs> yes. So and thank you too, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> fun to be like psychically in Winnipeg as well it's a, a city close to my heart I really love it there oh, really? I've only been a couple times but um I a ton of great people I know there and yeah it's really cool uh well hopefully the next time you'll be touring and we can all come and see you play live oh you know I will definitely let you know when that happens hopefully soon <laughs> perfect take it away Sammy Don't mind me Just sit and think about what I should do next Mind is racing, I don't know what to think about your text Never like this Breaking promises Ooh, I wanna find you Keep giving all your love away. 
Keep giving up. 